As the 70s roll in, stability around the world has never been as shaky. Interplanetary alliances join together to seek ideological supremacy across both planets. Cultural shifts are uprooting norms that have been in place for centuries. Technological shifts have been changing how the world itself functions. As these shifts occur, life continues in the seed bearer region, where a seemingly random group of people have come together to try and make sense of the nonsensical. This is Hazeltown Story. A little bit more uniform. Okay, so you all take the stairs down to what was kind of the main clinic area. As you can, the area that you're sitting in, like you take the stairs down and it opens up into either a staircase going down further uh, or uh, a what looks like a little waiting area. So there is like a set of like, you know, it's a waiting area. There's a set of like benches that people can sit in that go to uh, that branches out to the left and to the right to various exam rooms. Uh, there's also a set a pair of bathrooms. And it also goes further into the complex, uh, which have their own set of rooms. Is there anyone around that we can see? Uh, as you can kind of go in, you can see that the lights are on. Um, All right. The, the tech life. The tech life. So from here, uh, let's say, you know, Torpo, how about you roll a percentage die? Okay, sure. Fucking let's go. Laura, a 58. Okay. Um, you don't see any life from where you're at. Damn. Well, All that she's seeing is Claudia at the moment then. Yep, it is just yeah, it is just Claudia you two there. Uh, not seeing can't see me. Can't see Queen. What do you mean? Mage Bane. Oh, right. Um, yeah, one of the effects of Mage Bane is that uh, you are indetectable to all forms of magic detection. Okay, so that's where you're at. So how do you want to proceed? Forward. Yeah, gotta yes. get forward then. Okay, so where exactly do you want to go? Go to surgery. Okay, I'll... so hmm? I, guess, I guess if you want to, like, branch off to the left or the right, the surgeries are just straight up, or straight to left, or, like, straight walk if you kind of take the intersection at the waiting area. Uh. The hallway that goes to the surgery room is flanked uh, by either side on also either side of the waiting room by exam rooms. They're meaning that there's four in total. I don't know why one of them is called BT. I guess I think I slipped. I sure did a typo. But the butt exam room. Yeah, the proctology room, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to scope out the bathroom. Fuck all y'all. Okay, you, you, you don't see it. It, it. it is a their bathrooms. Damn. They, they 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 looked like they are not they have been used, but it is not like dirty. Oh, oh, good. They they have people taking care of the cleaning here. That's nice, at least. Yes, don't ask. Okay. The toilet. Don't tell me how to live my life. OK, uh, so you want to go to surgery room? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to be following the, the pug. Yeah. OK, so you're heading to the surgery room on the left. OK, so. Uh, as you do that, you let me just kind of think. The surgery room has kind of been turned into. You can see that there is a. It is kind. Of, they have like there is nothing really in the room except for maybe a. There is like a podium that is surrounded by like a circle of pillows that you can see that it is a room that would be like people sitting around a circle. Uh, a <laughs> let's just call it a, a magic lantern in the middle. I'm gonna kick the lantern. I don't like the look of it. it you get it. It just kind of it falls over. Uh, it makes it, it. It does make a little clink noise. Look, as a uh, certified ball sportsman, I can do better than that with a kick. But uh, extra planner awareness of anything happening in here. Uh, at the moment, no. Thankfully, there's nothing going on in here. I'm going to the butt room. Okay. Uh, as you see that, uh, the exam room have also been. Uh, they've been converted into a uh, kind of study. Like they have been like uh, you can see there is a, a trio of desks in the exam room. Uh, as you kind of take a look, you see the there are like nameplates on uh, the exam room, like each of the desks. 
you notice that there are like singular like everyone has like a singular name that is associated with various kind of elements of nature like say you have a uh a one that's rain or star or uh robin or reed oh, no, they're they're fucking people. hippies but yes yeah, so the, the names have been you can kind of imagine that these are not any actual names, but they're designated. Fucking hippies. Uh, meanwhile, Saskia uh, going to do research checks. Saskia is going to rack her brain to see what they were trying to figure out what ritual they were doing in surgery A. Okay. Um, okay. So let me get uh, let me get your thing up just so I can see any sort of mechanic. Um, did you want to? Are you so what um what ability are you you're just using a research check to see if there's any they are, are you using any ability or are you No. Okay. So you you are just doing a research check to see if there's anything that sticks out? Yes. Okay. Um there's no reason for it not to be controlled. Uh and also um your effect is going to be well Trying to think, because I don't know if your effect would be limited, because, well, there's not a whole lot of things that you need to grab, because your lack of thumbs might come into play, but I think you actually might be able to do that, but also I don't think it'll matter. So your effect's going to be normal. Alright, standard. Standard uh, is, like, it is standard, or controlled standard. Alright. That is a failure. Uh, That is a two and a three. Uh, You do not come up with anything. Mm. There also mark experience for um, intellect. Okay. Okay. Uh, so there is that. So didn't really find anything in the surgery room outside of the that it was it, it was a room that was used for some sort of ritual or or some sort of thing where people sit in a in a in a circle around a lantern. And from what Queen can tell from the exam room, that or at least on that side, that um. These seem to be convert. The exam rooms seem to be converted into offices, or like study areas. Mm. Study and bullshit. I hate wizards and I hate their stupid garbage. All right, so uh, of fucking name is Rain. It's even better because it, it 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 it's with an E at the end. Okay, yeah, no, uh, she's gonna topple that desk. <laughs> okay, so you want to topple the desk? Uh, yes. Do an action roll for me. <laughs> I'll I'll do just fucking roll twenty still says smash so I'll do that I guess what control limited uh control okay so now do you want to smash the you want to sm like you want to smash the desk do you want to do it quietly <laughs> yeah I just wanted to topple it okay uh so if it's if you're just like doing it from like your your just gut reaction, uh, that's going to be uh, at least risky, potentially desperate, uh, and limited because <laughs> you don't know restraint. Uh, if it's you're true. just going to dr- if you're going to uh, draw in from your strength, if you want to like be like a little gremlin about it and like topple it over in a very specific way, you might need to think of a different way of how to do it. No, it's it's too late in for. Mm, I could just do a fucking maneuver roll, couldn't I? Uh, that could work. Uh, sabotage also could work. I'll I'll do maneuver for for the sake of variety. All right. So, uh, let's see. Maneuver. If you're just gonna try and like get it to like move in like a very inconvenient way, that probably also topples it over and makes it unusable. Uh, that could work. Uh, I would say you're you you're not you're not like noticed this far. Um, you do have a I think you're actually getting plus two D from this because of your ball sportsman uh, ability. That is effect actually. Oh, okay. So your effect's going to be great. You're going to get plus one D from uh, athletic training. Yep. Uh, quick question. So, what is the position? Risky. <laughs> Uh, the position's gonna be position's gonna be controlled. This is great. Uh, yeah. So let's see. That's three. Yeah, I think I think three dice is it. Okay. Okay. This is not an attack. Okay. Four, five, and one. 
So what it would be at that point is you would you would knock the desk like you would say you would like shuffle all the papers like it like there, it would just be a complete like pain in the ass to try and reconstitute what anything that Rain was working on. Uh, all I can think of is Rain uh, saying something very specific, uh, which is uh, Are you open up this. <laughs> Put the soundboard in the recording. It's already in there because the Valid <laughs> Discord's in there. Yup. <laughs> well, uh, either way, yeah. fuck rain. Uh, but as you do that, you do end up knocking something over that does make a notable, like, noise of like it, you hear like like it definitely makes like noise that you are like. Oh no! I knocked over their fucking bong. What are they gonna do to me? Um, let's see, uh, as you do that, I just realized that one of these is, it, it wasn't Robin, it was Roan. What the hell's a Roan? <laughs> Roan? R-O-A-N. Ah, uh, hmm. Let's look it up. Uh, it is denoted to an animal, Sophie, a horse or a cow, having a coat or, or of a main color, thickly interspersed with hairs of another color. It's a horse thing. Yeah, it's, it's a horse thing. Uh, oh, okay. oh, kind of okay. looks I like know shit it. too, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I know what this is. It's the weird, like, like faded pattern on a horse. Yeah, it's like spackled with fucking gray and shit. Yeah, it's it's awful looking. All right. Well, okay. Why did why did they give my horse shitty freckles? Um. So as you do that, um, as you make the noise, uh, you hear, um. Coming from uh, kind of the area here, um, you hear someone call out, uh, you know, uh, they basically, hey, Roan, did you find it? Find it? Uh, hmm. That was the question. So, Who responds? Well, the question is also, do you want that to be the thing or do you want to just have take the uh, resistance check and have them not be have them not notice? No, no, I'm not a coward. Let's do this. All right. I mean, based on positioning, Claudia's the only one that would have heard it. Didn't this person say that thing? Well, I feel like they would have, like, shouted it. Like, if you're, like, on the other part of the house and then someone's trying to up there and you're, like, trying to look for something. <laughs> hey, Rowan, you fat-fingered fuck! Well, unfortunately, I am no actor. So unless somebody wants to jump in, this is going to get worse. Let's get worse. Okay, so Claudia, oh. you're just kind of in the waiting room, and you hear the voice coming from down the hall. Do I have enough? If I do, I have enough to get a good line of sight to snipe him. Uh, hmm. You know, that's a hmm. It is a thought that I'm having because do I want to have turn invisible also have effect? Also, you don't have wait. You don't have any equipment on you. No, I forgot about that. I mean, you, you can figure out what you'd you'd want. I'm not gonna ding you for that. Uh, sure. Uh, fuck. I don't know. Magic handgun. Sure. Magic handgun. Okay. Nobody so intervenes. I think that's technically in the holstered slot. Yeah. Okay. Let me just go ahead and we'll use that. Uh, so how that works is let me just get the description here. Magical handgun. It will be integrated. So basically, that means that your use of magic bolt does not require stress. Perfect. And so let me go back to Claudia. And what's your? What is the? Okay, magical bolt. Produces a so uh, that means that cost of producing a magical bolt of energy that projects as if it pro produces a bolt of magical energy and projects it at an enemy. Uh, it is two two range medium. That is well within range. All right, we're gonna take the shot. Okay. So uh, that would be okay. What so? That is going to require an action roll, though. Yeah, that's uh, fine. I figure let's like that's definitely an aim. That is going to be that. Uh, you are invisible at the moment, so it's controlled. Uh, actually, wait. You hear it down the hall. You don't actually see them. So no, you don't, because it's like they're like right okay. just a little bit down the hall, so you can't see them, but you can hear them. Okay, in that case, I'm just going to start creeping over, staying away from them, because. If I if I hear them right in that spot, I'm gonna go into the other side of the hole where I can get until I get a good sight of them. Okay, so you're gonna go just, down here. Just wait in the waiting room for them to come to you. 
Oh, true. Well, I don't know if they're going to come back over this side, so... Well, if they don't get a response, they'll probably come investigate. True, true. So just get my gun out and get ready, though, then. Okay. So, let me might as well just do this. Okay. So, uh, as you do that, you hear, like, they call again as a... Like, Rowan, are you there? Uh, I get ready to fire uh, as soon as I can see see the person clear into visible range. Hmm. Hmm. Just trying to think of something. Um, let's say this, just to make this more, a little bit more interesting. As as you hear the call out, voice from the other side of the hallway says, "Yeah, I'm over here. Like, what do you need?" And uh, person goes back and forth. It's like, "Oh, I, th- I thought you were over there." It was like, "No, I'm over here." I was like, "Well, well I guess they might be someone else might be over there." All right. At this point. Saskia is going to, or rather, Victor Snuffles is going to wander back into the uh, uh, waiting room and uh, looks in the direction of Saskia and shakes its head. And then Mr. Snuffles puts on his best uh, cute doggy grin and sits down. Okay. Yo, this is fucked. All right. Once the guards are down and going to take a shot. whenever. Uh, okay. So, okay. Since you're doing this play, uh, so. Yeah. They kind just of just wait. kind of go... Oh, go ahead. No, I was just talking to Carl. Said, just wait. He'll know when to fire. Okay. Okay, so they both kind of, like, they're doing the talking, and they're like, oh, yeah, I thought, I was like, okay, you were trying to, like, I thought you, I heard a noise. I was like, no, I, I was over here. And they just kind of meet up at the center to try and look. And then they bo- both look in the direction, and then they, uh, they see, they see Mr. Snuffles, Mr. Snuffles smiles at them and gives a <laughs> playful yap. Not so happy anymore. Oh no. Uh they look at it's like, what's a dog doing here? Who how did it get down here? They don't have familiars down like, here? Well the, none of them would have like a Mr. Snuffles. Because they don't recognize the familiar. Uh so they, or it was like, what the how how did a dog get down here? Did someone bring in a dog? And this kind of approach. Mr. Stuffle stands up and runs in the snorkel, yep, yapping happily. Um, so they, so they kind of, um, so they, they just kind of look at each other as like, okay, what the hell's up with this dog? And you just see one of them looks like at you and then, um, like they're just looking at you confused. Uh, but then, uh, oh, you, these damn, fine, charm roll. Uh, well, well, they too are charm, but the thing is, is that, uh, he says, I'm like, uh, they kind of, like, you see the person kind of freeze for a moment and just kind of look to the right. Okay, I'm going to shoot from now. their left. Yeah, now the I'm right going to shoot. Where, the right being where uh, the area where Queen is? No, the area where, uh, where, while invisible, a detect life spell would notice that you're standing right there. Time to fire now, so... Like, you can see, then there's that. Okay. Aim. What's my position? Uh, your position is definitely at least risky at this point. Although they don't see you, so it is... It's not... It is risky, because it's not controlled and you're not quite desperate. And my effect? Um, since you were kind of standing there, um... But since you, it just kind of went to a quick draw because it's like you just noticed that they they see you. Uh, it is going to be normal. Okay, and I'm pushing for two dice. Uh, that is a failure. That is a two and a three. Uh, how this would work would be, you would try and make a shot. Uh, you would miss completely. Uh, both of them now are definitely aware of your presence. Uh, and are uh likely going to retaliate. Um, and let me think of, say, let's see, how do I want to do this? Oh, no. Just look at what I have to play off. Because uh, I want to see... So I could have sworn... Uh, I thought I had one that... I must have gotten rid of it because it wasn't going to be necessary. Uh, but I could have sworn that there was a Dispel Magic. Um, hmm. Whatever. Doesn't uh, matter because this uh, Mr. Snuffles will bark bark to get their attention. Well, it's the thing of, like, there's got to be the consequence from the failure. 
Ah, I'm just trying I to see. think of what the failure is going to be. Um, okay, so uh, the result of that is as you as the fire goes from there, um, what would happen is basically as you would fire, uh, they would just kind of quick look in your direction and they would snap um, towards or like one of them would like basically both of them would kind of like snap and they would disorient both you and Mr. Snuffles. Real fucked up thing to do to a dog. I oh, know. So do you want to resist or do you want to see how this goes? Resist. Oh, also, by the way, Mark XP4, definitely for um, physical. Uh, and I think that would just be it. Yeah. So you'd mark um, XP for physical. Oh, that being said, though, uh, you do have athletic training as Claudia. So you would take one less stress from physical uh, resistance rolls. Oh, OK, then sure, I'll resist. Let's see what gets oh, me. Oh, also, uh, when you fail a physical attack roll, mark one physical like so you get actually to mark two resist or mark two XP for that. All right. Or wait. OK, that is Claudia. OK, so if you want to resist, just. So that's so one in a five. So you would that you would no be stress. resisted. No stress on a resist. Uh, so I'm guessing so you what, shoot. I guess when the shot goes wide, Claudia just goes and tackles the guy. Uh, well, what what would happen since it would you would your shots go wide? You see them kind of get stunned, but you manage to get another shot off that manages to incapacitate one of them. Uh, you this this one is going to go down. All right. Yeah. Uh, you do ha now have a rather irritated man uh, that is... They, okay, so he is going to get... Um, I forget, if you resist, is that a full phys or is that a full success, or do you still have any negative with it? I, I don't remember. I gotta check. Because I feel like... Well, actually, well, let's look... Well, I didn't mean to close that. Uh, let me look at the mechanics guide. Uh, because I think that if in the combat reaction rolls, this was a risky? Yes. Okay. So reading the thing, you I'm counting it as a six. So it's not a critical. Uh so they can't they cannot retaliate. Uh but what they are instead gonna do is they are going to move over back behind the, the wall. They are basically gonna retreat real quick. Um they're also going to smoke bomb all oh, there. So this, this, uh, so now I'm just going to mark this so that, well, actually, wait, this is not drawn. So, oop, that's not what I want. I want. Finally, it's time to draw the fart cloud. So this is now smoked up. You know, you could have done something like a, a circle or something or an aura. That, that's boring. No, you just the didn't realize you could do, do it. Because also I can move it like this. But also you have no idea where this person went. Well, yeah, I'm not even near that. Yeah, but speaking of, uh, Mr. Snapple is going to bark in the direction that Queen's in. Uh, Queen also probably would have heard the... Everything, yes. I have fucking yeah. ears. Get in the waiting Oops. room. I... Oh, that's not... Whoa! I had the wrong cursor selected. All right. Well, luckily for me, they can't see me but detect life, unlike you schlubs. Well, then so, you get queen, the one who jumps in the smoke cloud. Yeah, I was going to say, Queen rushes on ahead. Okay, so you rush through the smoke cloud? Yeah. I may as well be invisible at that point. Okay, so here's a... And this is a question from a DM state. If I just... If you just want to move in a way, can I, like... Does it make sense that I can potentially do something from that? That could be considered a negative. I mean, you could ask for an action roll because, again, we have we have opened engagement. <laughs> okay, you can. Uh, yeah, why don't you do an action roll to do that? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do maneuver to hurl my own ass. All right, uh, that is going to be a desperate situation because you are literally running through a smoke cloud uh, into, and you have no clue where this other person is. So it's standard effect, is what you're saying. Uh, that is going to be a desperate position uh, with, I, I, I guess, standard. Because I am a ball sportsman. 
<laughs> yeah, let, let's just call it standard. <laughs> <laughs> Me, the ball sportsman. I I love this stupid system. It's great. Look, ball sportsman is just a funny phrase. Oh, hey, you succeeded. <laughs> it's true. She's gonna show them why she's a ball sportsman. Okay, hey, so you you. You 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 dribble the invisible basketball as you run through the smoke. Please, soccer. You dribble the soccer ball as you as if it were a basketball as you <laughs> go through the smoke. Um you go through, you do not like you kinda you go through the smoke, you're you don't no one really else sees you. Um so where where did you want to go? Uh, so I don't know which way they went. I'm just fucking around. So uh, so I will also say just sort of the illustration for the people that are listening. Uh, the hallway that they went down there is it, it, it branches into like five different paths. Uh, the if you go straight forward, you go into the employer's area, which is just like yeah, I should do a D three for that then. Um, which is just like it's a room that it's like a break room there's like some kitchen stuff in there uh, uh, so, on hmm? to the left uh it branches into either further into the building or into the consultation room which is just like a small conference room or it even goes further to the left where there is uh some like side where you would imagine there'd be like on the blueprints it would be some like doctor's rooms and a storage closet uh that is also symmetrical by the way, so it goes on the other side as yeah, well. Yeah, so I, I have entered full dumbass mode, and I'm letting the dice decide, so I'm going left first off. Okay. Is there anything in here? Uh, this little tiny little area, or are you yeah, yeah. Go do is Do I see anything from here, or does anything see me from here? Um, I don't know, roll percentage roll. Boop, 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 boop. 20. Okay, that's on the extremes enough. Okay, so, um, uh, let's see. You... See Evil Auto. What, what do I see? In here, you see someone who is like weirdly spoot, uh, who has, uh, in the same kind of robe that you saw the guard in, uh, but is now also carrying a magic handgun <laughs> or some sort of weird antiquated handgun. Okay. Uh, that sees you rush in in here and. As you walk in, you see they see you, and they attempt to draw. Come at me, you dumb bastard! See if you can hit. So what? What do you do? First off, I yell that I'm here to piss this guy off. Uh, okay. So I think I might know what you're trying to do. I don't think it's gonna work the way you think it does. Too bad. I'm gonna intimidate him. Oh, I wait. Do you even have that thing yet? I have. Get him on tilt. Oh, no, I, I see. I thought you were going to do forget to count, but that's a different character. OK. Yeah. OK, so let me see. If you provoke an enemy to intentionally anger them, you add plus one D to any action roll to continue to provoke them, get an attack in or outmaneuver them at the expense of any harm that you take. In the, hold on one sec. Yeah, the wording is a little confusing. That is my one complaint about get them on tilt. But OK, you add plus one D to any action roll to continue to provoke them. At the expense that any... So, what it means is that their attack gets one pierce. Yep. Is essentially what that's meant to be. Okay. All right. You're, so, you're going to intimidate them? Yeah, it's it's an action roll, so fuck yeah, let's let's go. Uh, so, how are you going to action roll? How is this going to work? What is What action roll are you going to do? Uh, so, I'm, I'm basically calling him out, trying to throw him off guard and panic. Uh-huh. So, uh... What should I do that for then? Uh, which, what, act, what, act, what verb do you want to throw at me? Uh, to avoid getting hit or to hurt him? Because I want to hurt him, but I'm trying to figure out the sequence, the, the action, the order of operations for the way get him on tilt works. So you would have to intimidate them first. Okay. Then we're going to intimidate. Okay. So you're going to, I take it, then use intimidate. Yes. Okay. So, um, in that case... Uh, this is a desperate action of you seeing a man with a gun in a very close proximity, very confused, but aiming to draw, and you were yes. calling him a bitch. I am calling him a bitch. <laughs> he got one shot, it better make it count. 
<laughs> that is a desperate ass situation. If you don't hit me, I'll hit you harder, you stupid bitch. Um, that is, I think the effect of the, how brazen this uh, this is means that it's probably going to. It is probably going to oh, actually. Also, I need to check something. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's just call it a. Let's call it a standard effect. Okay, so that would just be two dice. Do you want to push? Uh, how much was that again? I believe it's two stress per one die. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, it's two stress, one die. Uh, okay, so okay. that puts you to three dice, I think? Yep, puts me at three dice. <laughs> and that is a six, three, and a five, so that works. Uh, that is a that is a success, a full success. Um, you see him try to, like, take... You see him, like, kind of take aim... And like, kind of aims at you, and you see him pull the trigger, and for some reason it doesn't go off. <laughs> you stupid bitch. Uh, but in that case, um, so now it's time to show him why I'm a ball sportsman. Or that being said, uh, this, well, since the way that this works is that he has to something. I was like. Uh, so in that case, he is going to basically pull out a knife, uh, <laughs> and, uh, as he pulls out the knife, you can see the blade on it slightly extend as if it were, like, a mana blade. <laughs> and also, for funsies, there is, as what's it, three? Actually. Gonna take, gonna take the knife and show him why you're a ball, ball sportsman. Yeah. Um... Yeah, also their their uh robe starts to glow slightly. Good for him. Okay. So now what do you cont- what do you do? Gotta kick the shit out of him. Alright. How how do you wanna do this? By kicking the shit out of him. Okay, so I take it that's gonna be a strike roll. That is a strike roll. Oh, that's gonna be you're in proximity. It is still a you are dealing with Someone who is armed and also wearing armor. It's fine. I pierce armor. Uh, that is going to be desperate still. Your effect, that being said, you are in close proximity. You probably can figure something out. So that will be standard. Okay, so let's see. I need to I need to check my dice really quick. So it's three, four, five. Okay, let, let's go over the, the, so how this, Six. The, the, the chain. Okay, so... Because you provoked him, uh, get him on tilt works, uh, which means that you get plus one die. That being said, you will take an additional piercing of damage should this fail, uh, which and then your default strike is three, meaning you are now up to four. Your athletic training adds up that up to five. And then you talking to me adds another one. So it's six. Which ones are you talking to me? Uh, that is the starting ability for the rogue again. With with that, so you're at six. Which, uh, judging by my, with according to this, which did you roll it? Okay, what what did you get? How do you not succeed? I don't know. I'm kind of impressed. Holy. What? One wow. five four five two three. That's still a success. Well, it's a mixed success. It that should the. The odds of that, and I have the little thing here. What are the? What does the thing say? Probability of dice rolls at six. A full success should be at a sixty-six percent. Well, it's thirty-three percent. Yeah. Uh, so you you did in fact succeed. Uh, but that being said, you are going to like. I'm gonna say that you probably do it like this. Uh, like you kind of rush in. Uh, you like kind of look at him, and you almost let let him get a hit in. Which, if I look at how this works, it's the Shawn Michaels GIF I posted, let him leap at you. The, 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 it's not going to be quite a sweet. Actually, it might be a sweet chip music. Who knows? Also, I love that clip. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's look at. I just want to make sure. Look at equipment. What does? Okay, so the attack gains an additional. So effectively, the attack is going to do two d or two damage, three pierce. Oh, good. 
Which means that how what is your armor at? One. Uh so it's your armor does not count, and even like if you had an additional, it's not gonna count. So you're gonna take two harm. Okay. But you like like it's almost like <sighs> I hate the thing that I'm thinking of, where it's they stab into you, but you lean forward and just kick the shit out of them. <laughs> just call him a bitch. No, there there is a very specific animated scene that I'm thinking of involving a person doing something smug while they are stabbed. <laughs> God, I feel like I feel like I know what you're talking about, but it's like Uh I'm not gonna bring it up to add to the counter. <laughs> The fun thing is that one's not on the soundboard. Yeah, I I haven't soundboarded the all rangey atomic. God, which I should. Anyway, uh, I I I still wonder how explosive incompatibility works. Which one is that? Uh, it's magic bane. Without focusing directly on you, most attempts at magic will fail. So it so that's why when they went to shot, that's why when it your thing your intimidate succeeded that the gun backfired. Okay, I was just wondering so, how it would apply to I was any sort of magic thinking, armor. I was thinking oh, that's a good point. But it didn't matter because the, the sword, or like the you had enough uh, the weapon had enough like plus D's because you were intimidating because of get him on nuts. that. You, you would have you would have taken the damage regardless. Um, but yes, you, that person is now incapacitated. So you are now at six out of eight. Okay, well, really quick, I'm gonna, ha- for stabbing me, I'm gonna go ball sportsman on his crotch. Okay, I think you kick him in the dick. Thank you for listening to Hazeltown Story. If you'd like to get updates on this show and many other shows hosted by me, Lola Puzzle, you can follow at Hazeltown Story on Twitter, and if you would like to get to know me, or from a personal standpoint, you can follow my personal Twitter, at Lola the Puzzle. If you would like to watch this be recorded live, you can go to twitch.tv slash Lola Puzzle and follow the channel for notifications of when this show, as well as other shows like Retro Rank Rhapsody, are being recorded. If you would like to add this podcast to your podcatcher of choice, you can search for WLDP Hazeltown Radio and find us on most major podcatching search engines. Or you can manually add rss.hazeltown.life to your podcatcher. Thank you for listening, and I hope you come around for the next episode.